Uh, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Um, today we're playing around with yet another of my simple lash ups uh, using a Russian rod pentode, a 1J37B or 1ZH37B, whichever way you wish to call it. Um, today we've been making up a simple circuit on this uh, matrix board using the valve as yet another type of pantry transmitter. The oscillator runs um, between the G2 and G1B of the valve and the, the HT for the G2 only goes through these two chokes here. Now these are just been poked in in series. I need to try and get it better. It's, it's just a quick lash up to see if the thing would oscillate, which it does, uh, obviously. <laughs> and another choke on the anode. Um, it's damped by this 82K, as you can see it's just hooked in. There's a 68 picofarad capacitor from the anode onto an aerial socket which goes onto the back of this Sony TV. And we are using um, an input here from this cable up to the Aurora uh, with baseband video, which is a test card. There's a little bit of filtering and a little bit of a uh, reduction in the, the, the signal level to the valve through this resistor, through this choke and this capacitor. And the, the, the valve here, of course. HT is about 53 volts. Uh, we've got uh, five, six batteries in series. A um, couple of them are not that well good. This one is a rechargeable. It's just what I've had to hand. And, of course, we've got the LT supply on this uh, NIMH battery here. And there's a the result. Now, unfortunately, this phone will band. It does always. Uh, it's just the shutter speed on this isn't very good. What we can do is we can bring down the brightness and hopefully the contrast enough for you to get the idea. There you go. That's the result. That's very good and play, very pleased with that. A little bit of bending at the top. Um, we need to check the, the DC, of course. Is it, there's no DC restoration as such. So what we need to do is we, we have to have a DC path now for the uh, the video. So as we get black level. Uh, the sinks are probably not particularly wonderful at this time. I haven't had a, I have looked at the, the envelope on the scope. But at this particular time, uh, this was just a quick test. Just to see if it would work at all. And it seems to. Uh, as we can see, you I mean we're getting good we're getting good results all the way up, you know, from the uh, bottom to the top. Now let me just give it a little bit of more contrast or brightness or something like that. Just bring it up a little bit. I don't know whether you can. Oops, I've taken it down too far. There you go. Uh, it's still flickery a wee bit, but uh, that again we can't uh, we can't do anything about this because of the camera on the phone. Uh, so that's that's the result, I and mean, you can see there's a little bit of a uh, kind of bending at the top there. But I'm sure we'll be able to sort that out given time. Uh, but I mean, look at that picture. I mean, that's that's an amazingly good picture. Um, it does actually work very well. Uh, and don't forget, the circuitry is is about as simple as you'll ever get. You know what I mean? Um, so it does the job. But with this DC restoration, I think we'll sort this out. Yeah, uh, and of course if we get it tuned up properly with a proper uh, uh, co uh, coil on the top of the anode, the tunable coil uh, uh, to the frequency, uh, the correct 45 megahertz uh, frequency, that'll be fine. Now the crystal I'm using is a 45.033 megahertz crystal. It does say something different on the top. It says 145 point something or other, but this is obviously for uh, some amateur radio receiver uh, or transmitter uh, but it does have the frequency on the side uh, which you you might just about make that out there 45.03 I, mean, I don't know if I can get the phone to that 45.0333 I think that is so it's not that far off the, the 45 megahertz that we should have for channel 1 so that's that's fine that's good so um, yeah it's fine now I think I explained to you in the previous video when I did the, the, the pantry transmitter when I had another crystal that was about 42 megahertz and I got nice sound, nice, nice audio. Uh, so if we could get crystals of the right uh, values made up for this, uh, you would have a simple enough uh, valve uh, uh, modulator for channel one. Um, but I'm going to get, as I say, I'm going to try and get all the, the bugs sorted out in this. But this is the preliminary uh, uh, stages of it. It's just thrown together. Um, it's tacky, it's not very nice looking, but um, it proves a fact that it works. 
you know, so um, no great, no great issue. I'll just disconnect the battery so as you know that I'm not uh, cheating. There you go. Oops, that's gone back in again. You, hold on a minute. I need to, I need to have better thumbnails. <laughs> but there you are. That's the battery disconnected. That's the battery back in. So there you go. It's proof that it, it works and it's very good. I'm so surprised how good it works. So there we go. So something for for the the, the avid constructor to to build and to probably make a better job than me uh, but at least we've done the grounding for anyone that wants to have a go so there you go that's it brilliant okay thank you very much for looking take care everyone bye